This is Steve from FilterMax. We're going to talk about assembling the heater for the US FilterMax centrifuge. Um, what you have here is the all the stuff you would uh, see in a 3,000 watt heater system or a 3 kilowatt. Um, the 1.5 kilowatt is the same. It's just one heater and you don't have this, this hose connecting the two. <clears throat> and depending on which version you get, um, could get a manual set or an automatic set. The automatic set will use the, uh, the temperature probe and the manual set will just plug, use a plug. Uh, we'll start talking about um, the heaters. Um, this would be your, your second heater in the system. And you install this, uh, this, is, this is what would lead out to your centrifuge. This is your input down here. And this is where your temperature probe would be. If you're using a two kilowatt system, or a three kilowatt system, you would have two of these. Um, the difference is you would you would plug this hole right here with the uh, pipe plug, and you'd also do this if it was a manual system and you weren't using a controller. Uh, if you're using a manual system, uh, the, the heater at 15 gallons an hour will raise the temperature about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you increase the flow, it won't raise it quite so much. Uh, if you decrease the flow, it'll raise it a little more. So uh, just as a rule of thumb, if you're running with, with no controller, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit at, um, over whatever the oil starts at. And if you are using a controller, you can set it where you want it. OK, so we've got the first heater with a pipe plug in it. This is the input down here. I'm going to go ahead and thread these valves in. Okay, so we've got these tightened up in here. They're not perfectly tight, but they're, they're pretty close. Um, this one here, this is, this is the first one in the series, or if this if you had the only one, this, this would be where you put your ball valve. Uh, you're going to screw your ball valve on. Okay, you want this, this ball valve to be about vertical. Take a look. You can see this is, the, this is number one, the, the, the input. It has the pipe plug in it. You get an, a, an approximate position of these fittings. I'll spin it around slowly so you can get a look. Okay. Now we're going to put this on the uh, centrifuge, uh, these four little bolts here. We've got this one bolted down to the leg. Now we're going to go to the second heater in the series. I'll let you see how this one looks. This is the output to the, um, to the centrifuge, the centrifuge input. And we use a hose between here. And you never put a valve between the heater output and the centrifuge input. If you, have boil, if you have water or something and it boils or steam, you never want this sealed up so you don't get pressure and back, force trash back into your uh, tank or blow a gasket whatever. You always want to have this one open to the centrifuge at all times. You never put a valve here. All the valves go before the heaters. Uh, this ball valve here, and if you want to adjust the flow, you'll put another ball valve there, some way to adjust it. Okay, now we got that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this one down to the leg. Get these bolts started in.
Put my wrench on, a little socket wrench. Okay, now I'm going to tighten these up. And we're to, um, where we put our hoses on. And these hoses, it's kind of hard to get over this. It's a tight fit. So whenever you put a hose on, you want to uh, lube it up with a little gear oil or something. That's my favorite. Yeah, put a little gear oil on here, put a little on there, a little bit on here. Smear it around. Still a tight fit. Put some clamps over this hose before we get any farther. centrifuge and we'll use some of this. Gotta oil it up as usual as this is a tight fit. You don't do a good job of lubing it up, you'll be talking to yourself and it won't be nice. That one's on. Now we're down to the very last thing to do. That's install a the thermocouple. Uh, when you got the controller, this is, this end of the section can be attached to the controller, and this will be out as a free wire. So what you want to do is turn it backwards ten times. Put it in, and it should screw in and come out just about right, not have any kinks in that. I'll get a wrench and tighten that up to the end, and uh, that will do it. And that's how you assemble the heater system, the dual heater system on the US Filtermax centrifuge.